What made a difference, I think, in 1914 was a combination of human beings making bad mistakes or making foolish decisions and then things getting out of their control. Much later on, Kaiser Wilhelm said in the 1930s as the Second World War came, he said, Hitler will find it gets out of his control as it got out of mine. They went too close to the edge and then they fell over it. I think what made Europe go over the edge in the summer, those five very short weeks, it's not a long time, in the summer of 1914, were a number of decisions, and in the end we have to look at those decisions. The decision, I think, made of course to assassinate the Archduke, which was a real blow to Austria-Hungary. But then, more importantly, the decision made by Austria-Hungary that this time it would use the assassination to do what it wanted to do, and that is either destroy Serbia or bring it under control. Because Austria-Hungary saw Serbia as a threat, a continual threat to its very existence. And that decision, I think, took a big step towards the whole of the European war. The second decision, I think, which took another, took Europe another big step towards the war was the decision by Germany that this time it would back Austria-Hungary even if war with Russia came. And that was, I think, another link in what became a chain for Europe pulling it over the edge. And the third decision, which came late in July, was the decision by the Russian government to mobilize its armies to confront Austria, Hungary, and Germany. And I think at that point it became too late to stop a war. But if you just look at July 1914, you miss the world which helped to create the thinking and the steps that came before that helped to create this chain which eventually became so tight that Europe could not avoid a war. I tell is not a very happy story. Um, it does not end well and I found that when I wrote the last chapters, when I actually described how Europe went to war, I kept saying almost to the people of the past, please don't do this, you still have a chance. But of course they didn't listen to me or anyone else. And so it's not a happy story, but let us hope that it is very much in the past, that it is history, and that has nothing to say to the present about what we might do.